I guess sure it's time to charm. Uh, I, I guess I must have. Oh, I guess the uh, the vibrations in the tower must tower must have uh, wiped that thing out. So we have some uh, Q-tips that are half that are half cut, I think. No, oh, I see some Q-tips are still good to go. So we've got this maybe two Q-tips maybe all we need. Then we'll grab some uh, rubbing alcohol. I gotta get refilled with my rubbing alcohol. So all you just need is a cap full. So you don't need the whole thing. Just a cap full so you can dip your Q-tips in it. And then we just go inside and scrub away at all the electronics, all the gunk, all the all the soot buildup and Last time, last time, the, the hair used to go, there used to be so much hair on, on, on both spindles, on this one and there. Hair would go everywhere. It was a huge, even on the inside of here, there was, see, there's a bit of a hair build up right there. So we take the uh, clean edge, because we don't want to, we can still use the same old, uh, same old, uh, you know, if we have anything left over, we can still use it. Clean the inside. Make sure it spins properly. So I, I at first I actually thought I was cleaning cleaning it too well, then it wouldn't spin spindle. Clean up all this shit off the off the top here. Maybe do this. Basically, what this is is just, it's just surgery for the machine. So wow, that's a lot of. It's a lot of soot, man. So this guy's this guy's gone. Yeah, see, look at all that hair and all that fuzz and there's an indigenous 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 lay saying that all negative energy is is, is expressed as negative hair fibers, tendrils. Um, negative hair fibers and then it's up to the uh, it's up to the healer, the medicine man or medicine woman, to go and clean out the system, clean up all your guts, clean up all the panema. Um, if you're into ayahuasca and all this other all that other cool stuff then then uh, you know what that is. Panema is all this negative juju that we've you know, this is this is to clean this is clean out all the panema with the machine. All the negative juju and all the that keeps it just building up in there. It's hard to think that this is just build up from uh, this is just build up from the uh yes, it's, hard, it's hard to really believe that this is just crud cruddy build up from uh, from It's really hard to believe this. Just this is just build up from uh, from uh, from year from, from just at least two years worth of this this just just the carpet alone. See, look at that a little piece of hair a long long little piece of hair there. Pretend this is just like the dentist. You just go everywhere. Just go everywhere, every nook and cranny, and every every place of this that you think is gonna spin. Spray this down with WD-40 or something, but I don't think I don't I don't know what the hell that's gonna do. So, opening up another, uh, unleashing another round of clean foo on this on this machine. Yep. See. Maybe we can take it out, take it go one one step later and, and open this up. I can't remember how to uh how to Let's do that. Let's uh 
Let's get adventurous and see how far we can dig. We can, we can go into this. <clears throat> see if we can pop this uh, sucker off. Let's really get a good clean in there. And remember how this goes in. Last time I tried to do this, I did this with a lawnmower. And I forgot. I, I set the lawnmower aside for a while, and I forgot where go, where where what where, where. I forgot the order of where it goes. You know. It's like you just like you set aside a video game for a long time. You don't know where the hell to go. You have to start the video game all over again. So uh oh. Oh these 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 screws are really in there, so no, no matter. It's probably they probably t super tighten it to, to make sure that douches like me doesn't uh, doesn't un noobs like me don't don't decide to poke around in there and clean up the I should put a little bit of uh, WD-40 on it, then making sure, making sure one more, we're making one more pass. We we'll do one more pass, and then we'll do we'll then we'll put we'll the WD-40 in there. Okay. It's like a regular Rick and Morty here. See what I'm doing is I'm cleaning out the top, the top layer here, I'm trying to get all the all the uh, this, this this copper covered shit here. Let's see, we're ready. There's a lot of this thing here is this this top here sideways. Yeah, see look at all that. I'm just I'm just spinning it around and already all this all this unhealthy crap is coming off of it. See? Anywhere there's anywhere anywhere is I'm pushing I'm pushing the Q-tip against against the uh, this little copper plate here, and I'm just spinning it around. Oop, look at all the little fuzz in. Let me get my let me get my let me get my eyebrow tweezers here and uh, hold the shit up. So I don't want to. I don't want to build up anything bad. And who knows, maybe, um, who knows, maybe, uh, wow, there's a lot of black crud there. I didn't know that there was that much black crud. I was putting it at one of these contact points here and I was spinning it just to clean out all that, all that, shh. all that's. Lunch, a slag. Well, if that's the case. Maybe this thing will run more cleaner for the next two years or so. Can't wait to get my own vacuum cleaner and then really, really clean this mess out. Uh, 
now we're getting less concentration concentration of this soot so soot material so let's uh, let's leave it at that Oh wow, it looks like a piece of hair actually. Hair fiber, hair, cotton fiber. So no wonder this thing is all slowed up. All, all slowed up. It's because... I wonder if this thing was leaking oils too. So let us now let us now do another run do, do another run to make sure that uh, it's a uh, 100% kosher. Yeah, see? That's crud. That's crud. Alrighty. So let us uh, coat a nice little layer of um, clean stuff into the green stuff. And then some uh, lip balm, unscented lip balm I found in a store. Make sure this is nice and coated so we can have a I didn't put lip balm last time though. I just figured now might be a, now might be a good time to just put this on there and let us see what happens. See if there's less friction and more speed or. Hey, why am I putting? Why, why, why am I putting? Uh, so where is that stupid cover? That, that, that other piece. This one may need may need a little bit of a. There we go. This is uh, putting uh, the uh, rubbing the uh, lip balm on there to onto the uh, onto the uh, onto the uh, coated uh, plastic thing to see. Hopefully, this doesn't, doesn't cause a fire or. Hopefully it doesn't cause anything weird to happen. Let me coat, coat some same old lip balm on the... Okay, I try to put lipping balm... I try to coat lip balm onto the... Uh, onto the um, Onto the belt itself, but that didn't work out. So, ah, oh, shit. Here we go, on the outside of here. So make sure this, this doesn't this spins around quite nice. 
I don't put the don't put the lip balm onto the uh, onto the belt onto the belt plate onto the belt platform because that didn't work. That was a good idea though, but That's good to go. This is good to go. Let me put some Let me put some of this uh, on this contact point here. Not too much. Just so that this looks like it slips and slides. I'm sure that I'm sure that eventually and put some on the gear the gear a little gear teeth here to make sure they uh, slip and slide as well. Let me rinse out the, uh, the cap because I don't know what kind of fungoid infections on that stupid uh, on that stupid. Uh, anyways a newish work I'm drying out the uh, I'm drying out all those plastic parts so this little cap here is getting oiled up one more application of the oil here don't want to put too much though so You know, and don't want to put it on too much on the outside either because I don't want to I don't really want to um, so I don't really want to for, for it to track dirt you see this machine in two more years two years I'll be much more older so hopefully hopefully I'll be graduated and I can finally put these mechanical nightmares away away we still have this summer. We still have to go do the master bedroom fan. Uh, that hasn't been done hasn't been done in years, so that, that deserves a good cleaning. And uh, replacing the air the air vents uh, filters. Then, um, if we still have the bottles around, maybe late summer, uh, we still have the bottles lying about. Then we're gonna go and uh, maybe fertilize the grass one more time. And uh, by then I should be by then I should be into well into my uh, first semester of courses for my uh, for my um, uh, degree at Athabasca University. <clears throat> working towards my degree and working towards my job, and then I can have a new place of my own to do all this work. Um, this is actually I, I found these I found these kind of things years and years ago. So this this sink this bathtub has actually seen a lot of this kind of. Kind of a mess, so poor sink. Thank you for watching our show. We're gonna be right back. Let the let that lick you. And I'll just put this here to make sure that it spins properly. And I think this thing looks like it will spin properly. I'll catch up another load of hair though. Uh. 
I think I'll keep the you know, I think I'll keep this roof around because I still got to do the uh, I still got to have I still got to do the work of it. Uh, I'll just clean up the uh, the, uh, the the ring the back, the filth the uh, the ring from the uh, from the um, cleaning up the ring from the. Uh, Cleaning up the filth ring from um from the uh blah, 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 blah. Cleaning up the filth ring from the um uh, from the machine. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this into the room and let that dry off too, all the oils dry off and uh and that's how you can keep your machine running. I hope. I'm gonna try and clean up all the excess oils, uh, all the excess grease and stuff from the uh, outside di outside disc here. Cause I don't want it. I don't want the belt touching it. Hmm. Smells like lip balm. Smells like soap. Nice and oiled up machine. I see some. Uh, I see some with my tweezers. Where the fuck's my tweezers? Tweezers, where'd you go? You go in my pocket? Maybe the tweezers fall down here. I don't know. I see a little bit of a... I use the scissors to get the tweezers out. Bit of a Q tip there. I figure that this thing would jam up. Jam up the. Uh... Okay. Alright, that's enough. Thank you for watching our show. Have yourselves a lovely afternoon.